Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Watch Complications. I'm Brian. Thanks for joining me. I'm standing up today because I don't want to sit down. So this is a short video. Well, short for me. Most of my videos are pretty long, but I like, you know, I like giving you lots of content. You can fast forward, you can, you know, see what you want, you can skip, you can go into detail, but hope you're enjoying the vids on the channel. If you haven't subscribed, you better do it. Now, this video is called Watch Straps Matter. And that's because I am going to show you a bunch of different strap combinations on some watches and just show you how different watches can look when they're on certain straps and how you can express both the personality of the watch and yourself with a low cost method of just changing the strap. Well, fairly low cost. That depends again on your taste and where you're getting your straps from. There will be a blog post with lots of pictures of some of the watches in this video. The link is in the description below, and you'll also find some affiliate links to Amazon where I got some of the straps. Not all of them, but the ones that I did get there, you'll find the links below as well. Let's go through some updates first. One of the reasons I'm standing is because of the room itself. Now, you've seen me shooting video in this room for a while. The background, you know, my workbench is here, but this room is about to go from just a sort of place where I work on my watches into the Brian Sanctuary. Okay, so now you've seen my workbench before, which is on this sort of pub style table. I actually have a shelf over here as well, which has some odds and ends, you know, straps and boxes and things. I've got my whiteboard and the walls though are fairly blank. And let me just show you, there's a closet in here. There is a giant bear. There is a spare bed. You see my laptop there. And there is a table over here, table and chair, like an office desk table chair thing. And this though, this entire space whoo, is about to turn into my space, not the site that failed miserably. So I'm going to turn this room into a much more appropriate space for me shooting videos. Um, now that I've, I've gotten some traction and I'll put, you know, me on the walls, there'll be stuff that makes me happy hanging around have some chairs, comfortable chairs and a table. I can do some more interesting video setups and get better lighting. So this space you'll see over the next few videos is going to slowly transform into a very different looking space. The bench and all of that stuff will stay the same, but the room is gonna transform. Another update is dials. I know a lot of you are here because of my making custom dial series, which is one of the most popular ones on my channel. And I've been waiting on parts to arrive. Some of that has started coming in. And so I will next week be able to start working on the videos and the content for the next series of vids in my Making Custom Dials series, so I know a lot of you are here for that, that's coming. I also have a very special Seiko on the way. I cannot wait to show it to you. It's gonna get here this week, and let's just say it's a very nice Seiko, and we're gonna look at it very closely. All right, so what led to this video? Well, this watch did. Now, we're gonna talk about straps today. You can see this is a Pepsi. Specifically, this is my Christopher Ward C65 Vintage Pepsi Diver. And of course, when people think of Pepsi, they think of, you know, the Rolex and things like that. But this is a very affordable, accessible Pepsi style diver. It's got the whole vintage look about it. Love this watch, picked it up for like 30% off. And I had this idea the other day, I was sitting on my sofa, I was like watching something and I was like, I wanted to get some new straps. We all know that, you know, us watch nuts, enthusiasts, collectors, the best way to give your watch a new look you know, if you're not feeling it for a watch, it could just be the strap. Change the strap out. You get all kinds of different looks. You can express the personality of the watch in yourself via just a simple strap change. And straps are not that expensive, usually. You could go expensive, but usually for less than 20 bucks, you can breathe new life into a watch and reignite your passion for that particular piece just by a simple strap change. And I was looking at this. Of course, it's a GMT, and it's got the whole Pepsi look. So we got sort of a midnight blue for... The nighttime hours, uh, sort of a crimson, light crimson red for the daytime colors on the bezel. It's an aluminum insert bezel. And I thought, you know what? There's gotta be a strap combination out there where I can get that blue, close to that blue color and close to that red color and do that. Now I have to admit, it looks a little bit strange when you just hold it out like this. But when you've got it on your wrist and those colors match, oh yeah. Now, I've not seen this before, but I guarantee you someone else out there has done it. I've not come across it in a picture on a channel or anything like that. And again, I, I know I'm not the first to try something weird like this, but I thought this was a cool idea. And so then I was thinking, you know, how important straps can be and why not do a quick little video on it? 
What I want to do is just walk through a few examples of watches that I have, show you how different those watches look from one strap to the next, and I'll talk about a few brands, you know, some of my preferences around bracelets versus leather, that sort of thing, and just enjoy a few moments of thinking about straps and why they matter. Right, there's a lot going on here. I'll move some of this out of the way as we look at specific examples of watch straps. Now, I think we're all pretty aware, you know, watch straps make a difference. I just want to show you some of my favorite combinations as I've been particularly focusing on not expanding the collection, but adding straps to give variety and feel to my watches. Watches have personality and, you know, watches help the wearer express their own personality. Wrist presence is important to enthusiasts, be it discreet, subtle, seasonal, you know, colorful, comfort, meaningful, powerful, so on. These different types of straps or bracelet or, you know, choices you have available to you. Certainly the watch is the focal point, but watch straps also matter. So what I'm really trying to do in this video is show the importance and the visual effect of straps and how to convey personality of the watch and the person. Now watches will often ship with a bracelet or a strap that is designed by the manufacturer of the watch, maybe not made by them, probably not, and is meant to look good with that particular design. Now that's not always the case, but usually the case. And you know, the default straps match the watch design quite well and can make it difficult to think beyond the stock photo or what's been provided to you. But do it, think beyond the provided accessory and insert some variety in your life. Keeps you engaged in a creative and potentially low cost way. So the watch I wanna start with is this one. This is a NATO strap from the micro brand Vario based out of Singapore. Ivan sent me a couple of these to review. So there'll be a video, an individual review on these Vario NATO straps. There's another one here on this C65 vintage diver that I've got in the black PVD. This is a good little preview of what these straps look like. I'm not a huge NATO fan, but sometimes on like a field style watch or once in a while on a more dress style watch, I'm cool with a, a NATO look. This watch was initially on, this strap was like a $10 leather strap. These are about $30. This has more of like a steampunk look. So if I'm wanting to go for that, this is a strap you could put on it to give sort of a quick steampunk look. Let me show you how different this looks because that's really the idea with this video is just to show the, the differences in how the watches can look on the different types of straps in terms of personality. So that looks pretty good. I really like this style. This is a pilot style strap with the white stitching. This goes really well with the overall look of the watch. You see how good that looks. And then again, totally different look just with a simple strap change. Not expensive to do and you know gives, gives the watch a whole new look. But that's an interesting example I thought I'd start with. But let's get back to this GMT Pepsi. You can see it looks, again, I think it looks a little bit strange whenever you have it out like this, but whenever you have it wrapped around the wrist, that midnight blue and red look really good next to each other, you know, and you could use the opposite, you know, strap colors if you wanted the red at the top and the blue at the bottom. This is from a brand called Archer. Again, the links will be in the description below. So I took one half of each, got, you know, the colors and I think this just looks great. Now, this came on a webbing strap. Again, I'm not a huge fan of like canvas, NATO style materials, but this is what the watch came on and it looks great. I mean, I, I like it on this. You can also get it on a bracelet. You can see that looks pretty good, right? But you want to give it just that bang, that pop, you know, boom, personality. So good options for something like that. Think again outside the box when it comes to you got bezel collars to work with, dial and hand collars to work with. You know, think about the color wheel. Choose colors that will offset each other. Let me show you a really good example of that. One of my favorite dive watches. I don't wear it a ton. I wear it much more over the summer is my Helios C4. This is the C4 II in the pastel blue. This watch came on a black rubber, if I remember correctly. But now I got a Barton Elite, and I've got a review on this, and this is showing up in some of my other videos. This is a Barton Elite, which has sort of the ridge surface on the exterior, and then it has a tab on one of the keepers to keep them in place. So they're not moving around, which happens with rubber straps sometimes. But this is my Dumb and Dumber watch. If you remember from that movie, they have the tuxedos, the pastel blue and the orange. Yeah, this just screams summer, has a great little rugged look to it, and again, shows my personality. 
but really just makes that dial pop forward and in a cool and interesting way. So that's a fun watch. Sometimes I put it on black, but it's usually on this orange strap. I had it on a leather orange and it just didn't look as good on an orange leather. Rubber, when it comes to divers, rubber is really just the way to go. That's my opinion. Speaking of straps, I have this one. If you remember, I did a review on the Undone Vintage Killy and one of the reasons I got that watch was it was a sale. I knew I could, you know, review it. And then if I didn't like it, I would, I would trade it back and not lose money on it. But another reason was because you can only get some of their straps if you order a watch. I really like this herringbone pattern on this cloth strap. And this will look good on something. I don't know what yet, but this is going to give some watch a lot of personality. Now, my, one of my most worn watches, again, that I've currently got because of I'm going through a review process and wearing these a lot is my C65 in the black PVD. So this is on a single piece NATO. So this one's a single piece. You can see it wrapped around the back of the watch. This one was a two piece NATO strap. Quick release spring bars on that one. So this is a one piece NATO from Vario. And this watch goes really good with green. It's you know black vintage style look in terms of the loom and whatnot. And I usually have it on this green leather. This is more of a brown color. It might look a little bit green depending on the lighting, but let's see what that looks like on this green leather. See, there's one look. Very interesting. Love it. This, this dark forest green color. And boom, whole different style. So another example, dark green, maybe not something you see very often. Almost a moss green, but I think it looks great. And... This watch provides some options. Usually you want to go with a darker brown or a green color. I'll take a moment just to point out with my Grand Seiko, which again, you can see more about this in other videos of mine. I am waiting on a strap for this. Most of these straps I'm showing you are less than $30. And so for whether it's a Barton strap or one of these Archer straps, these are like 15 bucks. The NATOs I've shown you are like 30 bucks. You could get maybe a leather strap like this from a you know, watch company. You're going to pay more, maybe 50, 60 bucks. Just depends or what kind of sales they have. I have invested, I'll call it, in a strap for this. Again, I'm not a massive bracelet fan. And the Grand Seiko bracelets, they're a, a point of contention among Grand Seiko fans because... There's no micro adjust on their clasp. What's nice is it's nice and thin. It's out of the way. They have half links. But for people that live in locations where the temperature changes quickly through the day or you know other scenarios, I, I actually would really like to have a micro adjust. But I'm not a huge bracelet fan anyway. So I am getting a strap custom made for this that fits perfectly with the lugs through the AD where I bought this watch, which is Timeless Luxury Watches in Plano, Texas. The strap is getting custom made. It's a blue croc strap with white stitching, red interior. It's being made in Paris. I can't wait to get that. That's going to deserve a short video of its own. And I'll show you what that looks like once it arrives. But that is a whole different ballgame when it comes to straps. That's a high cost strap. But when you have a watch like this, it's worth sometimes going that extra mile. It's going to give this a whole new look. But you'll get to see that in the future. But I just wanted to mention that this is getting a different strap look because I like leather better. And the blue... With the white stitching, it's just gonna, this is gonna scream awesome when I've got that. I can't wait to show that to you. Here's a similar sort of a watch in terms of the color palette. This is a limited edition of 50. This is one of the Make Two Trident Divers from Christopher Ward. This one was commissioned by the Christopher Ward Enthusiast Facebook group. And it's got this blue bezel on it, red hand, some red printing there. And again, I like on the brace, it's better for a sort of dress if you're wearing a dress shirt, button-up shirt, the sort of thing. But I've started to grow sort of a interest in suede straps. I've got a green suede on my Atelier Wynn, the porcelain green. If you look at that review. But this is going to look pretty good. I think the buckle also matches the style fairly well. I'll show you another one of these in red in a minute, which would also look good on here. That's going to be a cool look. I'm not going to change it out right now, but you can see that this suede look on this diver and I wouldn't go swimming with this strap, but this is going to be a whole different look. It changes everything. That white stitching with the white dial 
Oh, I love just the variety you can get with just changing a strap. It's just, it's amazing. So think outside the box, people. You know, don't get locked into what that watch looks like with whatever the manufacturer chose. You've got so many options out there and they're not expensive. But let me show you one more. And it's my favorite. Not only because it's the favorite watch in my collection now, but because, I, I don't know, my bronze ombre is great. But this is my Aero 8 Morgan chronometer. I just did a recent review on the SH21 movement, and this was one of the watches in that. And this suede strap is the same brand that I just mentioned. It's called Bin Loon. It's on Amazon. Of course, it's going to be under a variety of names on Amazon. You can get the same exact same strap, but the, you know the Chinese manufacturers, you know, will put it under a bunch of different names. This watch came on an Italian Picari leather with a red interior. I wish the red went all the way to the edge. It doesn't because it would really highlight the red on the dial, which the complications with the power reserve in the small seconds, their hands are red. And then you have the sort of the power reserve when it gets down into, you know, about to run out of power, has that red zone there. Look how cool that watch looks. It came on this strap, which also looks good. Again, Picari leather. This is a motorsport watch. So this is sort of you know, a racing sort of style. And it's got the holes, you know, punched along the strap. See there? Yeah, it's nice and breathable. So that looks good. It's a nice look. But you know what looks better? That. That just looks killer. I mean, that is just, oh, I love, love this look. And that red is spot on. It's, again, sort of this crimson red color. And it's just got a great suede feel to it. This looks the Ritz. I mean, this is just, this is just, oh, oh. watch straps matter. As always, thanks everyone for joining me here on Watch Complications. Check out my website, watchcomplications.com. Follow me on Instagram at watch underscore complications. My name is Brian, and there's a lot more coming, so keep on watching.